It's hard to fathom what anything will look like after 15 million years. Scientists at Calvert Marie Museum are anxious to add this dolphin skull to its collection. It's a very complete specimen, so there might be something extra that we haven't been able to see from this one. From the brain down to most of the snout, Emily Bistick, a museum volunteer, and her friend were on the beach north of Calvert Cliff State Park on a recent Saturday night when her trained eyes were on to something. We were walking the beach and the tide was going out, so it wasn't all the way at low tide yet, and it was still a little bit under the water when I saw it. How did you know yeah. that you were looking at something that was worthwhile. It stood out because it was in the clay uh, right on the beach. She called her contact at Calvert Marie Museum and they made plans to come back the next morning to take it from the beach by boat back to the fossil preparation lab. This is what we would refer to as the field jacket. This is what was wrapped around the fossil dolphin skull when it was found out along Calvert Cliffs. The skull has already been, been broken by the weight of the sediment that piled up and entombed it. And we don't want it to break anymore. It's about three feet long and weighs around 50 pounds. Emily has been collecting fossils for just a short time, but she has so much to show. I've only been collecting for a little over a year and a half, actually, but I've been very lucky. So this is the Maryland State fossil. This is an Ekphora. It's a big predatory snail. And these are actually my favorite shark teeth. Those are the keepers. She's donating the dolphin skull to the museum to help further research. After it dries out, she'll begin the tedious task of chipping away the sediment with this dental tool. We know what family of dolphins this skull belongs to. It's an extinct family of dolphins that are characterized by having a very long snout. And the lower jaw uh, was shorter than the upper jaw. So we know that for sure. Uh, all we have to do now is, is figure out, is it one of the known four kinds of dolphins that belong to this family, or is it something new? Now, it's unlikely that it's something new. Emily Bizdick says she follows the low tide and pays attention to the wind direction before making plans to go fossil hunting. She's happy her biggest find will go into the museum's collection. These skulls are rare enough that this is a really important uh, specimen scientifically. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello. Uh,